double double win. All right, here we go. Hello. Hello, I'm looking for Myrna, please. This is she. Who's calling? Myrna, this is Joe from. Yes. You're not at home, I, I take it, because uh, we've been trying to reach you there. No, I'm on vacation. It's summertime. Uh, we need to get into your house today and um, take back the couch and the love seat. Why? Well, as it turns out, we gave you the wrong order. This order was part of a larger order that was going somewhere else. So where's my order, out of curiosity? Because it's been past 12 weeks times, too. Uh, it's in transit. Listen, I just need to get somebody over there and... Listen, nobody is getting into my apartment. And the thought that you thought that I was going to allow you to come into my apartment and take furniture is actually quite ridiculous. For you to be tracking me down up and around town while I'm on vacation and tell me that you need to send someone to my apartment to get in and take my furniture? What, are you kidding me? Well, I mean, you, you haven't really used it that much, have you? Listen, you know what? I paid for the furniture. If your company or your warehouse or whoever the hell screwed up, that's your problem. It seems like the only thing you people know how to do right is screw up. I, I take offense, ma'am, to you uh, telling me that we're screwing up. I don't really give a f Go f yourself. Go make the f couches yourself and deliver it to the half f order that you delivered last week last month i don't really give a rat's ass go f yourself don't call me don't call my friends don't call my family there's one and thing so you help me god if you show up at my f house with delivery trucks if we have to break the locks to get that furniture that belongs to us rightfully we <laughs> will do so let me know when you're done dreaming why don't you leave your vacation and come down and do the right thing and open up your apartment for us call the again and i swear to god you're gonna know who the f i really am oh my god this is where it gets good hold on well i've been in breakfast i can help you myrna Mladenels, please well my client stepped out she won't be back till later and who's this this is a bed and breakfast. I have several people staying here. She answered this phone earlier. I I'll relate the message once you get here. I'll let her know. She's right next to she you. She is not here. Tell the chicken to pick up the phone. She is not here. That's so mature. Where's the chicken? Why didn't she answer the phone, chicken little? Well, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. You're going to make me go down now because now, now you're pissing me off. Okay, and right. I'm going to let you know something right now. If I go down there, I'm going to smack the out of you, my man. What are you going to do? I'm going to smack the out of you. I'll smack the out of everybody there. First of all, I don't even want to speak to you. Put a supervisor on. I am the supervisor. I want somebody higher than you. You are not the only, you are not the only supervisor that works the, in that place. You have no idea what I smoked this morning. There is no one higher than me right now. Put somebody on the phone, please. Okay, hold on. Let me get my manager. Hold on. How long can I help you? You could stop the act and put a manager on the phone. Somebody higher than you. What can I do for you, miss? Is, is uh, my employee bothering you? Should I fire him? Let me know when you're done. Hmm? Should I dock him a day's pay? Since you want to be disrespectful, why should I help you out now? Let's hang up and you call me again. Let's try that. By the way, uh, my name is Gary Jones from Elvis Duran in the Morning Show, and uh, you've been phone tapped. You I love you, I love you. <laughs> it's all Michelle's fault. <laughs> That's payback for every customer representative you 